Hey, what's going on, y'all? Max here. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Unreal Engine 4.27 ArcVis, and we're going to be using the NVIDIA RTX GI plugin. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So here we are in the project now, the ArcVis that I have RTX GI turned on. And yeah, we're just going to walk around it. Now, I'm not going to show you how to turn on RTX GI because I did this in the previous video, which takes about 20 minutes. Uh, if you want to see that on how to install it and use it, go ahead and go to the top right corner of this video in the cards and I'll put the link in the description as well. Uh, because I, honestly, it, it would be like, it would take forever if I have to show it every time. But what we'll do is just kind of walk around in here in this kind of environment and just show you the befores and after. Uh, starting with the DDGI, I already have it turned on. And if I kind of turn this off, you're going to see what it looks like without the actual RTX GI, which is pretty dark. Um, and if I go to like lighting only, you're going to see it even more. Uh, this is absolutely pitch black. And then if I turn it on, you're going to see all those global illumination light bounces kind of working. Now, as far as the settings go, I have a 24 by 12 by 12. And what that is, is just how the probes are kind of set up. So you can see, and I'll turn this on here. You can kind of see where the probes are in the scene. And if I back out, you're going to see that I have it set up. If I press G, you'll see the volume kind of around the environment. So they, you know, those probes are collecting the lights and light information, not only exposure, but color as well. And that looks really cool. Now, again, this is similar to Lumen, but the difference is with NVIDIA RTX GI, it uses hardware instead of software like Lumen. All right, so let's turn this off here. And additionally to this, I do have some ray tracing settings turned on on top of that. So if I go to my post process, post, post process volume, you're going to see that I have some ray tracing reflections and then I have some translucency. And let's go to the left here so you can kind of see what that's doing. If I turn off the ray tracing translucency, see what happens to the chairs right there. If I turn it on, you're going to see that it just looks so much better. Now, additionally, with the reflections, I can turn this up. And if I turn on my FPS, you're going to see that I'm running at about 53 in a smaller view. But we're going to go full screen here later so you can see that a little bit more. Now, what's cool about this is that I can technically use the RTX NVIDIA DLSS on top of the RTX GI to even get more performance. But I honestly don't even need it for this demonstration here. All right, so let's move up right here so you can kind of see the second floor we have a computer kind of right here a laptop again and we have a bedroom right here we'll press g to get rid of that icon i mean this looks amazing and if i go to full screen and if i have an even more powerful gpu you know like some people actually have like an h6000 out there i can go to like 200 percent on this and you're going to see my fps really just drop but the quality is amazing i mean beyond words i'm gonna move this chair so you can really see what this is doing right, and then i'll go ahead and move this to 100 because it's killing my computer but watch the shadows of this chair and it's oh it looks so freaking good and i think it is better looking than lumen um again but that's my opinion this is it right here and um yeah let's go ahead and do a a begin play so we can walk around this uh, map here so I'll press play we have a first person shooter here as you can see my FPS kind of dropped down to about 30 frames per second and uh, I'll turn my DPI down so I won't kind of make you guys sick this is man this looks freaking good now what I'm hoping for is with all this metaverse stuff I really want somebody, a company, to go ahead and open up servers so we can start uploading files. Like this environment, I can upload in a FBX or a USD file or whatever file format. And then eventually, friends and people with mocap and VR can eventually join in. And we can all hang out in the metaverse, right? But that's like the end game. I'm still waiting on actual companies to come out with servers. I mean, so many companies are talking about the metaverse. But I feel like there's only a couple who are actually doing stuff about it. But yeah, my hope is, you know, I'll take my cyberpunk Zinville in there and have a couple of YouTubers or, you know, people I met with um, with gear and we can just kind of hang out in here. That's yeah, that's just that's the plan. And you can even see on the weapon right here on the first person shooter that is definitely just dynamic. It's changing when I'm moving. <sighs> that, is, that is so pretty. 
that's absolutely pretty and i have space marine here kind of just kind of like a reference um just to see how he looks like in this kind of situation because sometimes with um real-time lighting characters kind of look wonky but not in this case because we do have that ray tracing as well enabled on top of the rtx gi and he looks fantastic he looks great he looks really good looks pretty real okay now i'm probably not gonna fit in the staircase here so i'm gonna bring that begin play upstairs and then we we'll kind of walk around there. Let's check out the kitchen first. And right here is a little bit darker and it's flickering because it can, as you can see, the light that I set up, it's not really reaching all the way back here, but that's okay. Um, I didn't want to like increase the brightness or anything like that. Just wanted enough so that's splashing some lights around, which I think it still did pretty well. All right, so we're like a toddler now. Let's see if we can go in. There you go. That's kind of working, like a baby first-person shooter right now. Man, yeah, this floor is actually pretty impressive. And I don't even think these are 4K textures. I think this might be like 2K maybe. Some banjo right there, I didn't even notice that. God, look at this. This is so freaking cool. I cannot wait until VR is able to get this kind of fidelity in the games. Because I don't think people... Like, if, if you think people are not going to go outside now, just wait until the graphics look like this. You are not going to see anybody out there. Because everything's trying to kill you out there. That's why people are so excited about this metaverse. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I just... Kind of wanted to go ahead and do that. I'm having so much fun with playing around with the RTX GI and Lumen in Unreal Engine 5. So I'm kind of flip-flopping, just kind of see which one's better. Uh, as far as performance goes, obviously it's going to be Lumen. But when it comes to fidelity and quality, I think the RTX GI looks better. Uh, again, it's experimental. It's not an official release, so they're still working on it, improving it. And hopefully one day they would have RTX reflections, kind of like the same thing with GI, but uh, with reflections, kind of give you back performance, but still have it look good. That would be something else. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any questions, let me know. And again, thanks for watching.